Happy Equinox. The Equinox becomes exact at 2.50 a.m. New York time, which is 6.50 Greenwich Mean Time, on Saturday, September 23rd, 2023. Each time the season turns, it is a cause for celebration. In the pagan tradition, the autumnal equinox in the Northern Hemisphere is called Mabin. It is a festival celebrating the middle of harvest season, a time to give thanks for and to indulge in the abundance of crops available to consume. You can take this literally and indulge in healthy fall fruits and vegetables like squashes and apples. Also, you can take this figuratively and give thanks for all the abundance in your life right now. Look in your refrigerator. Is it full of food? Visit your local supermarket. Is it teeming with aisles and aisles of delicacies from around the world? This is really quite a miracle if you think about it, but we often take it for granted. There are billions of people around the world who can barely afford to feed themselves and their families, and even then, they may only be able to survive by eating a meager diet of rice or junk processed foods. There are millions of people under the dark influence of war right now, and hundreds of thousands have been devastated by natural disasters this year. Do you have friends or family in your life right now? I know you want more friends and a new family, but on this equinox, give thanks for the friends and family that you do have. Most of our soul lessons are worked out in relationships. No one comes into your life by accident. So give thanks to God, source, universe, creator, whatever term you want to use, for all of the social connections in your life, be them in person or online. A great practical exercise you can do on this equinox to honor the energies about is to make a gratitude journal or list. Write down at least 20 things you're grateful for, and these can be anything. This can be a daily practice if you'd like. Finding the balance in your life. On the equinox, day and night are of approximately equal length everywhere on the planet. This only happens twice a year. So on this celestial event of, of day and night being in perfect equal harmony, ask yourself if you are in perfect equal harmony. If you had to guess which side of you is more dominant, the intuitive, emotional, divine feminine side or the logical, practical, divine masculine side. Also, which side of you requires more healing? The shadow masculine, which can manifest as over-aggressiveness, greed, narcissism, or impatience, or the shadow feminine, which can manifest as martyrdom, codependency, playing small, afraid to say no, or being directionless. Take some time to contemplate, and if you'd like, pause the video or podcast, and journal on how you can improve the balance between your masculine and feminine sides. Does your physical life feel like it is in balance? For light workers, it is often more comfortable for us to engage in meditation and spiritual practices, but our grounded 3D life can remain out of sorts. If you want to truly make it to 5D and be able to stay there consistently, you'll need to get your 3D life in order so that it naturally transitions into becoming a 5D life. Here are some other Equinox-themed questions of self-inquiry that you can ask yourself, and I would definitely suggest pausing this video or podcast, whatever platform you're listening on, and doing some journaling on each of these questions. Am I as grounded as I am idealistic? Do I spend as much time taking care of my present time earthly responsibilities as I do meditating, reading spiritual books, or doing other spiritual things? Or conversely, Am I not allowing enough time for myself to focus on a spiritual life? Do I spend enough time expressing myself artistically or creatively on a consistent basis? Am I taking the best care of my physical body? Does my diet need to be cleaned up at all? Am I drinking the cleanest water? Am I exercising daily? Am I sleeping enough? Are there any health issues that need to be addressed? Am I balancing time spent on social media or on my phone with time spent outdoors connecting with nature? Do I spend as much time appreciating all that I have now as I do dreaming of more, desiring more, or being jealous of those who have more? Do I spend as much time loving myself as I do giving love to others? Do I spend enough time taking care of myself? Do I spend too much time taking care of others? Do I give and receive equally? Do I allow myself time to relax, to balance out the time I spend working hard? 
If I had to guess, which side of me needs most of my attention right now? The physical, the mental, the emotional, or the spiritual? Which areas of my life feel most out of balance? Which areas feel most in balance? What steps can I take in the near future to bring more balance to the parts of my life that feel out of balance? Make a list. What plan can I make for the future to experience a more complete balance and optimization between all areas of my life? By the way, if you're feeling called to really dive into this theme of balance and how it applies to you personally, I have a whole webinar exactly on this. It's called Creating the 5DU, and the link is in the description box below. Also, all of those questions, all of the journaling questions, you can find the link to the article version of this podcast in the description box if you're watching on my YouTube channel. And go to that page and you have the questions right in front of you if you want to journal on them. Sun enters Libra. The equinox marks the moment the sun moves into Libra. Libra is a cardinal air sign. A cardinal sign signals the beginning of a season. Libra is in charge of welcoming in autumn in the northern hemisphere and spring in the southern. As tropical astrology was created to align the signs with the northern hemisphere seasons, it makes sense that fall is ruled by an air sign with the leaves flying through the air and the wind blowing, foretelling the return of winter. Libra is represented by the glyph of scales, demonstrating the need for balance and harmony as one of the irreplaceable facets of a healthy life. Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of love and relationships. Libra is associated with relationships, including romantic and familial, and diplomacy, fairness, and balance. It is the ruler of the seventh house, which is the house of partnerships governing, as you might guess, relationships and partnerships. During Libra season, we have the opportunity to create balance and harmony in all areas of life. We want to focus on harmonizing with others, especially in the context of partnership. It is also the perfect time to make amends where amends need to be made. Wishing you a happy equinox and a blessed maven with love. This is Matthew John. Thank you so much for listening to my Equinox podcast, whichever platform you found this on. I'm very grateful. If you are listening on YouTube, please do me a favor. You know, help me get out there on YouTube so people can understand the magic of astrology and all the other incredible uh, things that I teach. Give it a like. Share it with others or share it on your social media platform. And please leave a comment if uh, you want to wish myself and our community uh, and everyone a happy Equinox or, and or a blessed Maven or if there's anything that you appreciated that I said in this podcast. Thank you. I really appreciate the support. Upcoming events, there's a lot. So if you want to celebrate the Equinox with myself and with a wonderful group of people around the world, my Ascending is One group mentorship program is my signature mentorship program. We meet on Sundays, but also sometimes on Saturdays. And this weekend, we're meeting twice. So Saturday, September 23rd, which for a lot of you that are uh, listening to this right away, is tomorrow, we have an Equinox celebration. It's our Autumn Equinox group activation and ritual. And I will also, after that, be channeling through a group of Syrian extraterrestrial beings. And the Syrians are just amazing with what they bring through. They're a group of five very wise Syrians uh, that come through me. And they often have really interesting things to say about world events. And they do take questions from the audience as well. So if you want to ask the Syrians, ask a group of extraterrestrials your question, make sure you join in on Ascending as One for this weekend. And then Sunday, we have Healing Your Relationships. Perfect for our entrance into Libra season. So if you want to join both calls, it does require a VIP membership. I still do have room for VIP memberships for this month, though not a lot, but I can fit a couple more people in. And the reason being is because your VIP membership also gets a 20-minute private session with me this month. I guarantee that you can get that private session before the end of the month. So what I need you to do if you want to join in on this weekend's calls is and you want to get that reading, and it also comes with uh, the recordings of two other Ascending as One calls earlier this month, 
We had tarot basics, and then we had the illusion of ego. And the illusion of ego may have been my favorite ascending is one call that I've ever done, and I've been running this program for almost an entire year, four calls a month, so do the math. Oh, my God, it was just so powerful. We did 12 energetic activations, and we included tapping as well to make it even stronger to dissolve the illusory aspects of ego and super powerful. So uh, if you want to join Ascendings One, you get those recordings as well. If you want to make sure that with your membership that you get four live calls, you can wait till October. We have uh, on October 1st, Healing Your Root Chakra. October 8th, How to Do Grounding. October 14th, the Saturday is a VIP only call. Connecting with fairies and elementals plus Syrian channeling. And October 15th is How to Use a Pendulum. So October is going to be a great month in Ascending as One, as they always are. And if you have any questions about Ascending as One, feel free to email me. Or if you're ready to sign up, email me. You are a divine human at gmail.com. You are a divine human at gmail.com. Or you can go to the description box, and the link to check out all the info and sign up for Ascending as One is right there. I also have one of the best deals I've ever offered and I am offering it to you 50% off any of my in-person retreats next year May 15th through 19th Mount Shasta in California the root chakra of the earth the Pleiadian portal portal of Telos September 5th through 8th 2024 light on the hill ancient Haudenosaunee meeting ground full of the most wonderful spirits most powerful activating land full of portals if i were you i would take advantage of this deal it is such a different level of experience to go to a retreat with me versus working with me in ascending as one or in private sessions everyone had a wonderful time at the light on the hill retreat in august of this year and so we are doing two next year again Mount Shasta in May and Light on the Hill in, in October. October 1st at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time is absolutely the deadline. You have to put down a $500 deposit per person per retreat, and that locks in your rate, and it is a fully refundable deposit if anything changes through your plans. Also, it's not too late to join my 2023-24 Comprehensive Tarot Reading Course. Class number two be, is on October 7th. October, we have three tarot classes and it goes all the way through february so if you want to learn the tarot this is the absolute deepest most comprehensive tarot class on the internet that's why it's 13 weeks long you get a certification if you complete the course and you get a 45 minute video call reading and coaching session with me to help you along with the course it is a fantastic deal if you're in ascendings one vip you save 20 percent and you can absolutely do both Ascendings 1 and the Tarot Course. A lot of people are doing that because the Tarot Course is on Saturdays and Ascendings 1 is on Sundays. All the information for the Tarot Course is also in the description box. Also, another exciting live event coming up November 10th, 11th, and 12th at the Luxor in Las Vegas on the Strip. Disclosure Fest, Stairway to the Stars. I will be having a booth in the Egyptian Room where I will be doing live in-person readings all weekend. And it is such a different experience to get an in-person reading with me. I rarely do these, but you get the opportunity if you come see me in Vegas. Also, I am a part of the esteemed astrology panel on Friday, November 10th in the afternoon. And I have a 90-minute speaking segment on stage on Saturday, November 11th, where I will be teaching about Star Origins, and I will be channeling through the Syrians live on stage so i'm super excited to get to vegas in november for stairway to the stars it is going to be a jam-packed weekend thousands and thousands of people expected so many amazing big names way bigger than me that are going to be there so it's an honor that i was invited if you can't make it in person then there are online streaming tickets available as well it's disclosurefest.org and the link is in the description box below as well. And remember, my new and full moon podcasts are on the Higher Self channel on YouTube. Also, wherever you get your podcasts. So head over to the Higher Self channel next week for the full moon in Aries podcast. That's going to be a powerful one. So happy Equinox, everyone, and blessed Mabin. And until next time, please remember to be kind to yourself, to be kind to others, to be kind to animals, and to be kind to the earth. With love, this is Matthew John.